I think, uh, I mean, I have met a lot of founders who would be okay with uh, just getting the capital as soon as possible because speed is of their sense. But uh, I think this is, a, uh, this is something that will become more and more of a pertinent question as the ecosystem evolves. Maybe 10 years back, we had very few funds. Today, we have uh, at least 100 funds, um, you know, 25, 20, 25, each playing in a different stage of the market. So I think founders are, uh, today, I would agree, some spoiled for choice in terms of what kind of funds they want to raise from. I think the most critical at seed uh, would be, you know, what's your next milestone after your seed investment? I mean, most people would think about a series A because that's a funding milestone. But the business milestone is essentially getting to a product market fit, right? And, uh, and therefore, maybe the question to be asked is, which is the fund that is going to help you get to that product market fit in the best manner possible? Now, how do you evaluate a fund from that perspective? Uh, you know, some funds are sector agnostic, some uh, are sector specific. So if you find a, sec uh, a fund which is focused on, you know, only the sector that you are operating in, maybe that's a good choice to go with. But most funds are sector agnostic even today, and therefore it becomes more critical as to who can really provide the time, uh, who can partner with you and spend a lot more, uh, you know, person hours in terms of helping you get to that product market fit stage. And uh, therefore a fund which uh, really believes in not just having a cosmetic board seat, but uh, rolling up their sleeves and working with founders may be the most helpful at your seed stage.